Hello guys! Today we are gonna be cooking this. Today I want to show you how we make this crazy dish in our family that's called hash. Actually, the famous Russian dish Haladets is made pretty much the same way, but the main difference is that Haladets is served cold while hash is served hot. I highly doubt that any of you would want to recreate this recipe, but I will show you how we cook it anyway, just in case some of you out there are as crazy as we are. We are going to cook hash using beef hoof. To start, you'll need to clean the hoof thoroughly and then cut it into smaller pieces. This might require some strength, so you may need some help from a strong man. So cut the hoof into pieces that are small enough to fit into a large pot. This one is the most delicious part of this meal, which is my favorite, even though right now it looks like something I would never ever eat. But when it's cooked, this is just mm, the best. Once you've cut the hoof into pieces, rinse them one more time and place them in the large pot. We're also going to use a big piece of beef to cook everything together for extra flavor. Start by bringing the pot to a boil over high heat and let it boil for about 40 minutes. During this time, you'll need to remove all the bloody foam that rises to the top of the dish. After boiling for 40 minutes, remove all the beef hoof pieces from the pot and then discard the broth that they were boiling in. We don't need this broth because it contains impurities and chemicals released from the meat during the initial boiling process, which can negatively affect the taste and the quality of the dish. After discarding the first broth and cleaning the pot, add fresh water to it. Then cut the beef pieces into even smaller pieces before putting them back into the pot. Fill the pot with more fresh water until it reaches the top and then bring it to a boil over high heat again. Add one onion to the pot and cover it with a lid. Once the water starts boiling, reduce the heat to low and let it simmer for about 4-5 to five hours or until the meat falls off the bone. By the way, if you're wondering guys, it smells really, really bad. It's cooking for many hours and the entire time the house smells really bad. I mean, just imagine how can a cow's skin, thick skin, smell like. So that's exactly how it smells and uh, you cannot really get used to the smell, but this is what it takes to cook this dish. This is still boiling on a very low heat, and now we're going to the beach, so we're gonna leave it here. Sonia will turn it off later, because she's not gonna go to the beach now, so in a couple of hours when we call her, she will just turn it off, and then when we come back, we're gonna continue dealing with that stuff. After returning home from the beach and allowing the hash to cool down, which is necessary, it's time to separate the meat from the bones and shred it into small pieces. A good indicator that the hash is well cooked is when the bones easily separate from the meat without any effort. While hash may not be the most visually appealing dish, it's very nutritious and provides lots of health benefits. For example, it's rich in collagen, gelatin and other nutrients that come from the beef bones and connective tissue. So consuming hash can promote better joint and skin health, as well as provide a rich source of protein. This is the best part, guys. It's so good. I cannot even describe you how freaking awesome this little part is. Pure collagen. Да? Кто говорит? Once all the bones and meat have been removed from the broth, you'll see how golden and rich it looks. Not gonna lie, it does look a little gross, but is highly concentrated and very flavorful. You can also strain the broth at this point, but we never actually do it. So now it's time to return the shredded pieces back into the broth and season it with some salt, pepper and other spices. If you prefer to cook hash with garlic, then now is the time to add it. However, since we don't use garlic in our recipe, we will skip that step. No, 
your mouth. <laughs> Next, we add some boiled water to our hash, but this time not all the way to the edge of the pot, just a little bit to slightly dilute the broth. I'm gonna eat the leftover of the bone marrow right now. And I know it looks absolutely horrible, just look at that. <laughs> and if I didn't know how good this is, I would never try it in my life. But I tried it for the first time in Mexico and I like realized that it's like the best thing in the world basically. So now I like it, but it took me 30 years to try it before I would never even try it. So cheers. So good. Then bring the hash to boil again and let it simmer for about 30 minutes on high heat. After 30 minutes remove it from the heat and that's it. Our dish is ready to eat. Hello guys! It is lunch time and it's time to try our hash. We didn't eat it uh, yesterday because it was late at night and you're not supposed to eat it uh, so late at night because it's a heavy meal. So we're gonna try it now for the first time. So this is how our hash looks like after it was in the fridge and it looks like haladets right now, but we eat it hot as hash. Here is some excess fat right on the top and I don't like it, so I'm just gonna remove it and throw it away because I hate fat. Right now our hash looks like haladets and my mom wants to eat haladets as it is but I prefer it hot so I'm gonna melt this part right now and it will become a hash. And this is how it looks like melted. As you can see there are some parts of meat, uh, some skin, some everything basically what was in the pot yesterday. And I personally don't like everything out of here. For example, this is like the leftovers of the cow skin. I don't like them, I like put them away. This is my favorite part, this kind of uh, transparent thing that tastes like jelly. Uh, and also I can eat some meat out of here, but other parts I really don't like. So I'm not gonna eat them. I'm just gonna eat some soup a little bit and those delicious parts. I'm also gonna add some greens and black pepper and normally both hash and haladets you're supposed to eat with garlic but we just don't want to add garlic so no garlic for me. And to make it simple for you I will explain you the main difference between uh, hash and haladets and is that haladets you eat cold and hash you eat hot and haladets is traditional Russian dish and hash is traditional Caucasus dish, but the preparation is very similar. There are some details, but they are not that important. So now I'm gonna add some greens, then pepper, and I will enjoy my lunch. And also, as always, are you surprised? <laughs> We're gonna have my favorite salad for lunch and fried potatoes. I just finished it. It was very good. I really recommend you to try it if you will have a chance. And it was very fulfilling. Like, I only had a little plate, but it will probably keep me full until the end of the day. And I forgot to mention that the smell almost completely evaporated. You can barely smell it. Like, only if you smell like very, very closely to the plate. The smell is gone, so especially like when you spice it up with some greens or garlic or black pepper, then it's just like you don't feel it anymore. I really recommend you to try it. Mm -hmm.